two weeks after uh, he finished paddling with me, he did the first 150 miles, uh, he called me up and said, Dave, I've, uh, I've got a genetic condition. Um, he'd herniated a disc in his back, it had wrapped around his spine, and he'd become paralyzed in his leg, his right leg. Uh, he still doesn't have any feeling. He's got a wife, uh, he's got two kids, he was self-employed, he was a laborer, had his own business, and he was on the phone to me the other day, and all he said was, I'm so, so glad that I did this. I was talking myself out of it because I was scared about the river. But he did it, and I tell you what, the guy beamed every single day. He was a pleasure to be with. He made the beginning of my journey possible. At the end of this, I'm gonna finish this journey about three or four days earlier than I need to, which means paddling a lot more. I don't care, I'm gonna go back up to Minneapolis and spend a few uh, days with Dave. Um, hopefully he's gonna get the sensations back in his right foot. He's been in a few operations since, but. It just shows that these things can grab you without you knowing. Your life can completely change. This guy, stand up paddled 150 miles. He was walking around, he was fit and healthy, 37 year old guy, and now he can't walk. Um, but what the start? People make these journeys for me. Um, even when I ski to the South Pole, I know people will make the journeys, even though there's no people on the way. Because I'll be constantly thinking about the people who've affected me in my life. and they'll keep me going. And the people that I love will keep me going too because I'll see them after the journey. Um, admittedly, I'll be a lot more hirsute and probably skinnier, but that's beside the point. These journeys are all about the people and I've experienced incredible kindness all of the way down this river and I'm only two thirds of the way down the river. Coming to Memphis was a case in point and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but people are the key. Now, this is how the river looks right up at the top. That's uh, just a few, 100 meters into the river, it's two meters wide, uh, one, one foot deep. Pretty much, it's not far from Canada. Um, 